Chapter Sixteen of Among the Meadow People. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Among the Meadow People by Clara Dillingham Pearson. Chapter Sixteen The Grasshopper and the Measuring Worm Run a Race a few days after the measuring worm came to the meadow he met the grasshoppers everybody had heard the caterpillars wish to be fashionable and some of the young grasshoppers who did not know that it was all a joke said they would like to teach the measuring worm a few things so when they met him the young grasshoppers began to make fun of him and asked him what he did if he wanted to run and whether he didn't wish his head grew on the middle of his back so that he could see better when walking the measuring worm was good-natured and only said that he found his head useful where it was soon one fine-looking grasshopper asked him to race that will show said the grasshopper which is the better traveler the measuring worm said certainly i will race with you tomorrow, and we will ask all our friends to look on then he began talking about something else he was a wise young fellow as well as a jolly one and he knew the grasshoppers felt sure that he would be beaten if i cannot win the race by swift running thought he i must try to win it by good planning so he got the grasshoppers to go with him to a place where the sweet young grass grew and they all fed together the measuring worm nibbled only a little here and there but he talked a great deal about the sweetness of the grass and how they would not get any more for a long time because the hot weather would spoil it and the grasshoppers said to each other he is right and we must eat all we can while we have it so they ate and ate and ate and ate until sunset and in the morning they awakened and began eating again when the time for the race came they were all heavy and stupid from so much eating which was exactly what the measuring worm wanted the tree frog the fat old cricket and a caterpillar were chosen to be the judges and the race was to be a long one from the edge of the woods to the fence when the meadow people were all gathered around to see the race the cricket gave a shrill chirp which meant go and off they started that is to say the measuring worm started the grasshopper felt so sure he could beat that he wanted to give the measuring worm a little the start because then you see he could say he had won without half trying the measuring worm started off at a good steady rate and when he had gone a few feet the grasshopper gave a couple of great leaps which landed him far ahead of the worm then he stopped to nibble a blade of grass and visit with some katydids who were looking on by and by he took a few more leaps and passed the measuring worm again this time he began to show off by jumping up straight into the air and when he came down he would call out to those who stood near to see how strong he was and how easy it would be for him to win the race and everybody said how strong he is to be sure what wonderful legs he has and he could beat the measuring worm with his eyes shut which made the grasshopper so exceedingly vain that he stopped more and more often to show his strength and daring that was the way it went until they were only a short distance from the end of the race course the grasshopper was more and more pleased to think how easily he was winning and stopped for a last time to nibble grass and make fun of the worm he gave a great leap into the air and when he came down there was the worm on the fence all the meadow people croaked and shrilled and chirped to see the way in which the race ended and the grasshopper was very much vexed you shouldn't call him the winner he said i can travel ten times as fast as he if i try yes answered the judges we all know that yet the winning of the race is not decided by what you might do 
but what you did do and the meadow people all cried long live the measuring worm long live the measuring worm end of chapter sixteen recording by sharon kilmer rio medina texas